Here's everything you need to know about setting up a salary sacrifice pension in Sage Payroll. A salary sacrifice pension scheme deducts the pension contribution from the employee's gross pay before the calculation of PAYA and national insurance. In this video, we show how to set up a salary sacrifice pension, payment settings for salary sacrifice, how salary sacrifice appears in your pay run, reports that show salary sacrifice. Whether you are a new or existing company, Sage Payroll has you covered. Setting up your scheme. First, we'll show you how to set up a salary sacrifice pension scheme. If you're new to Sage Payroll, the pension setup forms part of the company setup. If you're an existing user and you have a pension already set up, you can add a new pension or edit the existing pension. From the top menu bar, click Pensions. In the Pensions tab, you can edit an existing pension or set up a new scheme. For the purposes of the demo, we'll set up a Nest pension. To do this, click Add a new pension, and from the list of available pensions, choose Nest. Enter the employer reference. You will find this on your Nest portal. For Nest, you must set up at least one group. Click Add Group and follow the two-step process. Enter the group name. You must enter the exact details for the group as set up on the Nest portal. Otherwise, online submissions to Nest will fail. This includes correct placement of capital letters, spaces and numbers. Choose the type of contribution. In this case, it's salary sacrifice. Enter your employer and employee contribution percentages. If you need to set this up as a fixed amount, you can do this for each employee when you run the payroll. We'll cover this later in the video. To continue, click Next. The salary sacrifice contribution deducts from the employee's reference salary. For more information, click the drop down. Using the drop down, select the date you pay the contributions to your pension provider. If you want to automatically enrol all employees into this pension scheme, select the Automatically Enrol Employees checkbox. This becomes your default scheme for all employees enrolled in the future. If needed, you can change this for individual employees when you process their pay run. When satisfied with the information entered, click Save. Next, you need to add a payment source. You must enter the exact details as on your Nest portal. Read the terms, then to agree, check the box. To complete the setup, click Save. If you want to edit an existing scheme, for example, add a new salary sacrifice group, from the Pensions tab, click Edit Pension. Please note you can't change an existing non-salary sacrifice scheme to a salary sacrifice scheme. You must set up a brand new scheme or a new group within your current setup. We have completed this step of the process. We can now move on to the next step. Payment settings. A salary sacrifice pension will only calculate and deduct from a payment that is subject to salary sacrifice. Therefore, you must ensure the relevant pay elements are subject to salary sacrifice. To check and set up your payments, go to Settings, then click Payments and Deduction Settings. To check an existing payment, click on the item here. On this occasion, we're only checking the pension settings. To include the element in your pension calculation, select Salary Sacrifice, then click Save. If you've already used the payment to pay an employee, 
you cannot edit the payment and add the salary sacrifice. In this case, you need to set up a new payment and select salary sacrifice. Please note, you cannot remove the old payment, but you can rename it. To set up a new payment subject to salary sacrifice, from the Payments and Deductions settings, click Create New Payment. Enter the details, making sure you select the Salary Sacrifice checkbox, then click Save. If you are unsure which payments you need to include in your Salary Sacrifice pension calculation, please check with your pension provider. We have completed this step of the process. We can now move on to the next step. Pay runs. Let's take a look at the salary sacrifice deductions during a pay run. From the summary tab, click process pay run. Follow the steps to set up your pay date and add any employee absences. To continue, click next. If the employee is eligible and enrolled into the scheme, a new salary sacrifice payment appears. This shows as a negative amount here and on the payslip. To stay compliant with the national minimum wage, the employee cannot sacrifice an amount that reduces their gross pay below the national minimum wage. Under the Manage Enrolment drop-down in Manage Contributions, you can amend the employee's and employer's contribution from a percentage rate to a fixed value if needed. To continue, click Next. We have completed this step of the process. We can now move on to the next step. Salary Sacrifice Reporting Salary sacrifice pension contributions show in several areas of SAGE payroll. A salary sacrifice pension appears on the detailed report. In section 1, the gross pay for the employee reduces by the salary sacrificed amount. Salary sacrifice also shows in section 2. In section 4, the employer contribution appears. The total of both the employee and employer contributions appear here. Section 7 does not show any employee pension contributions to date, as the employee has sacrificed part of their salary for their pension. You can view the year to date pension contributions in the Pensions Contributions to Date report. To view this, on the menu bar, click Pensions. Then, View Pension Contributions to Date. Here, you can see a Salary Sacrifice column and Employer Contributions column. The Salary Sacrifice amount is the employee's sacrificed amount. The Employer Contribution includes both the employee sacrificed amount and the Employer Contribution. You can find the pension contribution information on the completed pay run window. To do this, click on the pay runs tab, select the relevant pay run, and you can view the information from the pensions section. We've now completed all of the steps. Let's take a look at some more support and training available to you. To view our Help Centre, in Sage Payroll, at the top, click Help. You can use the search bar at the top or the panel down the left to find what you're looking for. To access free e-learning courses on a range of topics, visit Sage University. You can sign up to free, live or on-demand webinars too. You have now learned how to set up and process a salary sacrifice pension in Sage Payroll.